Hello everyone and welcome back to Train Sim Classic. Today we are going to be doing another route showcase video. And this one is actually Quakertown and Southern Railroad. Now I'm not exactly too sure what if this is a fictional line or if this is an actual like class one or whatever short line uh, route. But nonetheless we are actually going to be using a Norfolk Southern uh, power today on an intermodal train let us go ahead and hop into the route and let's check it out as you can see we do have the sd70m locomotives i believe this is by travel by train and uh, i was actually told not to purchase these and i will go over that uh, later on in the video but yes we do have a th two of these bad boys we have the uh, white face and then we have the unibrow and then we just have a standard SD60E locomotive uh, trailing third. But we are using AB Studios intermodal cars once again. And we do have this uh, n nice, pretty long, I don't want to say it's too long, but it is a uh, decently sized intermodal train. I do love the different variants of the containers that it comes with. It just really does add the variety to the trains and stuff, which I think is awesome instead of having, you know, the same container. Now, if I wish we can actually pick our own paint jobs that we can put on these containers and all of that, but, you know, I am happy with this. We got some Swift Intermodal. We got a lot of CSX Intermodal on this one today, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. Then we got some Auto Racks just kind of mixed into the uh, center. And then we just have some of these just random containers on the trailers, which I'm okay with. Uh, we do have a one of these. Some more auto racks, uh, some standard BNSF auto racks, and then we do have just some uh, TOFC trains, trailers on flatbed car or something like that, whatever it's called. Got some Schneider, then we have some more intermodal cars to kind of end out the uh, train. A lot of CSX on this train today, definitely a lot of CSX. Taking a look at the route we are going to be showcasing off today. Pretty decently sized, not going to lie. We are actually starting up over here, and uh, nothing back here. It's just uh, where the yellow is behind our uh, final car. Just nothing but trees and stuff, so we're going to be exploring all of this. Might possibly be a two-part video, depending on how long it is, but uh, definitely super excited to get in here and checking this out. Here we are in the cab of the SD70M locomotive. Um, you know, your typical standard desktop controls. Um, just pretty basic cab, nothing really too, um, what's it called? Pretty basic, pretty empty. Um, you just have your basic controls and that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and release this brake here. The bell and horn do not sound that bad. I will definitely say that they do not sound that bad. Let's go ahead and put her in notch one here. We're already kind of moving because we are on a 0.6% downgrade. But we do got the flashing dish lights as well. Very excited about that. We got NS2598, NS2617, and NS7019. We got plenty of power on this train today. We do have a, a 10 mile an hour zone that we are currently in and we will be in for a while so definitely having some fun with that but yeah hopefully you guys are having a good week so far good start to your weekend um, I know I did say that the uploads would resume last Monday I did have the one and then I just kinda was exhausted and stuff throughout the week so uh, did not have any uploads the rest of the week but I do actually have a three-day weekend. I requested the weekend off and stuff, so I do have a, a three-day weekend. So I will plan on plan on spending last night, today, and tonight making content, and as well as Saturday morning and possibly Sunday night, due to the fact of me helping out with the haunted house. It actually starts on Saturday, so. Uh, Super excited, but super nervous for that. My first time actually doing any acting for it. So I'm very nervous, but I'm also very excited to be a part of it. And yeah. 
And if you guys don't know, um, Lauren has actually done these haunted houses for, I believe, like 12 years now. So, uh, this is my first time doing it. And like I said, I'm super nervous, but I'm also very excited to be checking it out. We got a platform over here of some sort. Looks like a passenger platform. Oh, I guess we're going to be going on this track. Okay, I'll take it. Let me just go ahead and make sure that that track is set properly. Which it is. That one is also set properly. Make sure this one's set properly. It is. I'm not going to lie. The horn does not sound that bad. It really doesn't. Alright, now that we ended up flagging that crossing, looks like we got some open fields over here. Not fields, but like a concrete slab over here. Some sort of siding to an industry. Uh, possibly abandoned. Can't really tell what it is. We got some industries and stuff to our left as well. A lot of trees though. A lot of trees. Oh, we got a stop signal. Well, let's go ahead and make sure we stop for the stop signal. I feel like we just have to switch up, switch a junction. I feel like that's all it actually is. Yep, like I said, that track is set in the wrong direction. And then now that one is set in the proper direction. So now we have the approach signal. We can go ahead and release the brake here. Looks like we're going to be passing the police station to our right hand side here. Interesting. I'm not sure what this thing is right here. So we got some uh, shopping mall, shopping center or something to our right as well. I'm not even too sure where we're actually even at, to be honest with y'all. We have a little shopping center over there, it looks like. Some houses back there. Police station right here. We do got a crossing we're going to protect. It looks like we have another platform. Must be a commuter route of some sort, especially if there's like two platforms back to back like that. Very weird road setup right here. A very weird road setup. I like how the tracks just go into the platform there. They just kind of end. Interesting. So it says BNSF Railway. So we must be a B this must be a BNSF trackage. It looks like we got a engine shed or something over here, and then a, a freight platform. And of course, we have another denied signal because that track is set improperly. Yep, there it goes. Now we're on an approach. Interesting. Oh, it looks like it's actually being built. Or addition to something. That's pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Got another stop signal up ahead, man. Got all these stop signals because that is set to the wrong direction. There we go. city here 
Really liking all the uh, detail and stuff they put into it, like putting all the buildings and not all the buildings, but like kind of putting it close together, making it look like a real city. I really like that. That is actually really cool. We do got that 25 coming up in about 0.15 miles. We do got another crossing coming up here. And I think that is going to be an yep, approach signal right there as well. These trees are way too close to the tracks here. But going along with the haunted house that we are volunteering at this weekend, we I actually Lauren and I actually both had pretty eventful uh, weekend last weekend. I actually had a pretty eventful week because uh, last weekend her and I went to it's called an apple and pork festival. Um, basically, it is kind of like a town wide carnival slash flea market to where it's kind of like they combine a carnival uh, town garage sales. Uh, and everything into one and it's actually a very cool thing it was my first time or first year going and I gotta say I am hooked gonna definitely go in the next upcoming years again um, it's actually I, I like I said it's a town wide thing so they actually have like tractors like with trolleys on the back and they actually kind of you know, tour you around town to try so you can see all of the different sites and all the different vendors and garage sales and all of that. So what's actually very cool, something I've never actually seen before, but I uh, did have a, we did have a fun time, spent a lot of money I did not want to spend, but I did get some cool stuff. Um, definitely well worth it, got some Republican flags that were uh, discounted because they were on display and they didn't really want to fold them back up and put them away so they did give this to us for a discount which was awesome uh bought me a new hat some awesome sunglasses i gotta say these sunglasses were six dollars but they are probably one of the best sunglasses i've ever owned even better than my oakley's and i will say that six dollars better than oakley's but uh but yeah, so if you guys remember the ATS video, I posted the last one where uh, I said Lauren and I were going to try the Baja Deep Dive and the Voodoo, or Mountain Dew Voodoo. We actually didn't end up doing it last weekend, um, so we're hopefully going to do it this weekend. Depending on how we feel, we may end up doing a video on TikTok. I'm going to fly this crossing real quick. I feel like that was just a pedestrian crossing because there's really nothing there. Had to have been a pedestrian crossing. But yeah, so uh, we're definitely going to try that. Hopefully we can get a video or two out for TikTok. Because I do want to try to get active on that again by just doing random stuff. So we shall definitely see, but we'll see how we end up feeling that day. And all that. So uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for all of that. But, uh, also, yesterday, if you guys did partake in National Coffee Day, I know a lot of places were kind of giving away free coffee and stuff. Your boy right here actually got three free coffees yesterday. One at McDonald's, one at the best gas station in small town, Midwest small towns, Casey's. And then Dunkin' Donuts had a free medium, but your boy ended up getting a medium and a large. So technically I got three free coffees and one extra one. So that is what is powering me to do this all night recording session, all night gaming session for just making content. So I'm very excited about that. But uh, but yeah man, it was <laughs> it was awesome. Like I, I'm kind of digging it with like, you know, all the free coffee and stuff because I'm a big coffee drinker. I drink it in the morning before work all the time. Usually I just drink like one cup. It's like a travel thermos I just fill up but yeah man big coffee drinker so anytime I can get free coffee I will definitely take it definitely take it I 
Also, another thing that really happened, like I said, I have the three-day weekend. We got the haunted house. Um, one of my co-workers actually had a baby that came unexpectedly early. And uh, I did help him out a little bit because, you know, co-workers, we look out for each other. We help each other out. So I just want to talk about the price of diapers, man. It is ridiculous. Like, I think I bought two boxes of diapers. And it was like $60. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, I'm not... Like, I really want to have a kid. But at the same time, with the financial stuff of having a kid, it's just rough, man. Alright, we can go finally go 25 mile an hour. But yeah, man, like $60 just for two boxes for what a baby is going to do is just pooping them and then you throw them away. Like, that is just way too freaking expensive. That's just my little rant for the day. But yeah, very excited about the three-day weekend. Um, first three-day weekend I've actually had in a while. Usually I'll get like two-day weekends, but I think the last three-day one I had was when I went to the Ozarks. So that was uh, definitely fun. Uh, definitely do plan on going back there again uh, soon. Then another thing, uh, Lauren and I actually made a last minute decision to kind of hang out yesterday. We were, we were going to plan on hanging out Saturday at the haunted house and then I spend the night at her house and we hang out Sunday. But we kind of made a last minute decision to hang out today, yesterday and uh, we went to beat ups because beat ups has the BOGO buy one get one uh, boneless wings and uh, we was like you know what let's go to B-dubs drink a little bit have some wings and uh, as soon as we walk into the restaurant my ex is sitting there with her new boyfriend and I'm just sitting there like this is awkward <laughs> but I don't think they noticed us until the very end when they were walking out with their food because they did the takeout but like it was awkward like i i just don't know the the guy looked like he was so miserable it wasn't even funny it probably literally looked like how i looked half the time when i was with her not gonna lie but we were just sitting at the table you know talking laughing having a good old time and i think i don't know if she saw us beforehand or if it was just after but uh, i think she might have been a little jealous which you know i'm okay with <laughs> But yeah, it was just a very, very awkward encounter. Was not look, was not expecting to see her there. Was honestly not wanting to see her at all. But a very, very, very awkward situation. So we got an approach up here. Now I understand we're speeding. Uh, I, I just think 25 mile an hour is just a little too slow for my liking. So we are going to be doing the speeding, but I can tell you though right now there is a lot of trees. Just a lot, a lot, a lot of trees on this route. And uh, we've actually explored, I don't want to say we explored quite a bit, but we're actually, really have actually gone quite a bit in this route so far. Get a look at the train from the outside view here. We got our long intermodal auto rack train back there. I like how it's going up and then like you see it keep going back there. It looks like it's going down and it's going up. I like that. That looks really cool. Oh, we got some very open spots over here. Another crossing, man. For all my beer lovers out there, if you're old enough to drink, if you're not, don't listen to this part, but if you're 21 and up, how do you guys feel about the Bush Light Apple? Because I actually just found it this year when Lauren showed it to me, and I gotta say, I fell in love with it as soon as I, you know, drank it, and I'm actually very, very sad that this is the last year they're doing it, because I could have found this out years ago when they did it, but unfortunately... This is the final year they're doing it, so naturally Lauren and I stocked up on cases and cases and cases of it. Honestly, I believe we have about 130 or 40 cans of it just kind of stacked up at our house right now. So, uh, 
And then of course we're trying to get, you know, we've got a stack of the Bush Light John Deere cans. And of course I'm going to be picking up the John Deere D2 limited edition camo cans as well here soon. So I'm not exactly too sure when, but we will definitely be picking that up. Because I like, I have a collection of cans and bottles like soda, like pop bottles and like beer cans and stuff. So I just want to add like cans to the collection. I feel like the limited edition ones um, are a great addition to that collection. So we do plan on picking some of those up. Ooh, we got some stuttering right there. But going back to the Apple stuff, you would think like, you know, Apple beer doesn't really sound that good. But I like Red's Apple Ale. Uh, that is the first actual alcoholic drink that I had. Oh, illegally. I'm not going to say it's legal because it was illegally. We are really speeding here. I'm going to start slowing this train down a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, we got to clear. We're good. Whew. That was close. That was really close. sure we get on the brakes here because it looks like we're about to go into a tunnel I'm gonna put get on the dynamics here a little bit that was very close I hope our double stack train can make it through this tunnel seems like we're doing good so far but yeah I red's apple ale is my pretty much my go-to if I don't want to drink beer and if I don't want to drink hard liquor same thing with like twisted tea and Mike's hard lemonade I like those a lot. Um, Lauren doesn't really like reds. She likes the Angry Orchard stuff, but she likes Mike's and, you know, the Twisted Tea, which I actually got her into Twisted Tea, which is, you know, Twisted Tea. How can you not be into Twisted Tea if you're a drinker? The Twisted Tea is awesome. Um, I actually found some, like, cans. It's like Jack and Coke, but usually I would do the Blackjack Cola that comes in, like, the six pack bottles. But I actually found these in their cans. And then I found that, and then it's like Tennessee Honey Lemonade. And I thought that they was very interesting. So I picked up some cans of those. It's like a four pack. But I definitely can't wait to try those either. Um, found some cans of G Fuel at Walmart. Finally ended up finding them because I've heard Walmart's had them, and I've never ever been able to locate them until now. So I'm super excited about that. I hear a crossing coming up. Now we're going to the left here. So it looks like we got some Metro platforms here at Lyle. That's funny. Okay. Not too bad. I mean, there's a, definitely a lot of trees on this route. Definitely a lot of trees. But yeah, I did pick up four different flavors that uh, Lauren and I are going to try here. Uh, possibly soon it's gonna be not with the voodoo or like the Mountain Dew stuff but it will be you know relatively soon we got another crossing coming up here but I want to talk about um, this DLC pack first when it did come out I had quite a few people tell me not to purchase it because it would be a waste of my money and Honestly, I honestly, I agree with that, but I also do not agree with that. I do feel like they could have added some more into the cab so it doesn't feel as empty. Like, you know, added some more dials or something. Well, not dials, but like the conductor side is completely empty. It's just like a desk and like, I think that's the fridge. If I'm not mistaken, but they could have added some like paperwork or something on the desk. Um, they could have added like a clipboard attachment or something as well. Um, and kind of have like paperwork like your track bulletins and all that um, I believe the windows open no nope, windows don't open doors don't open I feel like that would have been a cool feature to have yeah and we can't shut the wind or we can't shut the engine down we have to press the actual button it just looks super bland up there as well like we could have had like Norfolk Southern the engine number and all of that so I do I do kind of agree but I also you know, think that the sounds on this DLC is what makes it. 
It has some very good sounds for like engine sounds and horn and bell. So I think that also kind of makes it. And I believe it's traveled by train because I think they're also the ones that are coming out with the NSSD70 ACU uh, locomotives, which I'm looking forward to as well. We got another platform over here. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So we're actually right over here. We probably could explore this entire thing in one episode. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and make this uh, two separate episodes. Hopefully I can get my brake to release now. I don't know if we're going to actually end up going back to single track soon or if we're going to have double track the entire rest of the way. So that's what we'll do is we'll end up going back down to the single track and then we'll end up ending this episode there and then we'll just pick up in the next one. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, if you like alcohol, let me know your recommendations because I'm always down to try some new alcohol. Uh, mixed drinks, cocktails, all that good stuff. Got another crossing over here at the electric substation. Now, you guys been seeing that uh, one chip challenge at gas stations? Where it's like a big old display and it's like a coffin shaped. It's a one like tortilla chip. Let me know if you guys have actually had it. And have finished the entire chip. Because my buddy and I did it a few weeks ago. And <laughs> let me tell you that we didn't even eat half the chip. We both took off like a quarter of the chip each. And we ate it. And let me tell you, I am usually good with like hot and spicy foods, but this chip, I was literally dying. Like we had a, I had a half gallon of milk next to me and I think I chugged that entire half gallon just by eating a quart, like not even a quarter, just yeah, probably like a quarter of the tortilla chip. And... Man, I tell you, I'm good with spicy stuff, but that chip was just way too damn spicy. Whew, way too damn hot. I remember seeing a warning on it, like, uh, at the store. It says you have to tell the cashier, like, the side effects of the chip and all that before you actually purchase it. Because of, you know, you have to understand the risks and that, you know, whatever the chip company's not liable, the gas station's not liable, blah, 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 blah. You eat it at your own risk, basically. But man, it it was horrible. And then, of course, my stupid ass decided to touch my eye because it was itching and then my eye started burning. And this was a Carolina Reaper chip. Now, this wasn't no, like, you know, uh, regular, you know, hot pepper just mixed together. This had Carolina Reaper in it, habanero, I think, a couple other chip or a couple other peppers. But man, man, oh man. My buddy wasn't dying as bad, but you could tell that he was in pain. He just didn't want to show it. But then somehow his uh, girlfriend ended up trying the chip, and she was completely fine. Like, she ate more than we did. She was completely fine, and then she ended up buying another chip for herself a few weeks later. Completely fine. But man, I, I, I tell you, I'm good with spicy, but that was just another level of spicy right there. But we are here coming back onto the single track territory. And that is actually going to go ahead and do it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys didn't, please make sure you guys hit the like button and the subscribe button. If you guys know exactly if this is a realistic route or if this is one of those like uh, fictional train sim routes do let me know down in the comments section down below would love to hear about it we're probably going to do another norfolk southern video on the route but then again it is bnsf so i'm going to have to try to see what i can do with it but yeah guys 
Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Join the Discord server. Follow me on all the social medias. And I'll catch you guys here on the next one. Peace.